common task in programming is determining whether this object you have over here is the same as that object you have over there. But what does it mean to be the same as another object? What if they're stored in different places in memory? Maybe because one was retrieved from a non-device cache, but the other was loaded from the server. But their values are all the same. The idea that two records would be the same if their attributes are all the same, regardless of how they arrived or where they're stored in memory, is called value equality. And it's usually what developers want. However, Dart is similar to most other programming languages in that it does not operate this way by default. In Dart, equality will always return false for two objects created by separate non-const constructor invocations. Make a new class with one simple integer variable, create two instances with the same value, and Dart will not consider them equal. Now, I said Dart counts two objects as different if they come from separate non-const constructor invocations. So obviously, the first way to get around this is to use const constructors, where possible. Use of a const constructor tells Dart to only ever create one instance of a class for a given set of values and at compile time. So if we change our old code to use const, suddenly a1 does equal a2. This is neat, but a pinch academic because it only helps for objects that we know about at compile time. There's no way to use a const constructor for objects loaded from a cache or the server. Even classes that have const constructors won't pass value equality onto their instances unless the variables are created by that constructor. Just because our A class now has a const constructor means nothing if we don't use it. So that's one option. Use const constructors which have limited flexibility. Another option is to override the equality operator for our class and give it precise instructions. The method signature looks like this. And a common pattern is to write this gobbledygook. It checks whether the objects have the same address in memory, then falls back to whether they're of the same class, and lastly, compares their attributes. Now this code is not very fun to write or think about. But luckily, the equatable package on pub.dev really makes things easier. However, before we can fully understand equatable, it's important to talk about hash codes. Just like records in a database all have a specific ID assigned by the database, all objects in Dart have a hash code, which is a pseudo-random number assigned by the Dart VM during instantiation. Returning to our fancy class, A and the two instances of it we made, A1 and A2, we can evaluate their hash codes ourselves and see the random numbers with our own eyes. But they're not interesting. They're random, and they'll change from one execution of our program to the next. Honestly, so far, they're not very helpful. But what if we could make those hash codes deterministic byproducts of our object's values? That would simplify our equality override, especially for classes with a lot of variables. Luckily, we can do exactly this. Imagine another class, B, which has several properties. Override its hash code getter and, instead of returning the original randomly assigned number, return a value computed off the hash codes of all of our attributes. This means we're ready to plop that back in the equality override, except instead of tediously comparing every value, we can compare our respective hash codes. Now this will work great, but it's still zero fun to write. But that's okay, because this is where the equatable package comes in. With equatable, our definition for B shrinks to just this. It should extend equatable, have the same fields and constructors, and define a list of objects called props, which Equatable will wire into all of that tedious boilerplate for us. By internally overriding hash code and the equality operator, Equatable will allow two instances of our class with identical values to finally be considered equivalent. And one last note about hash codes. You may recall that what we in Dart call maps are actually hash maps. In Dart, everything has a hash code, which means everything can be a key in a hash map. However, once you start overriding the definition of equality, objects' behaviors as hash map keys change. Imagine this code, which implements a class using Dart's typical equality rules, and then uses an instance of it as a key in a hash map. You then create a fresh instance with the same values and ask the map whether it already contains that key. Will the map recognize it? It will not, because they have been assigned different pseudo-random hash codes. However, do that same trick with a value equality class and we see that the map thinks it does already contain a key matching a fresh instance. Sets also work the same way, because again, we're telling Dart how to decide if two things are equal, and sets 
are never allowed to contain two equivalent items. For more info on Dart, head to dart.dev.